What's up? You're watching Taltanic. I'm Boy Badger. Here's another video. Space is incredible. Need I say more? Well, if you follow along with me, I'll tell you some pretty crazy things that are happening in our solar system right now that you may not even know about. From shrinking planets to massive volcanoes and beyond, I'm here to bring you weird and incredible facts about space. Number 12. Uranus has its lean on. Did you know that Uranus is a strange gas giant in our solar system? Why is it strange? Well, let me tell you. First of all, the planet rotates on its side, and scientists really have no idea why. But they do think they may have a possible explanation, one in which the planet is speculated to have been part of one or more colossal collisions in its past. The sideways rotation makes the big blue ball unique among the other planets in our solar system, but it's not the only reason that it's a little different. Back in the day, we didn't know that the planet actually has tenuous rings when Uranus passed in front of a star back in 1977, and the star's light was repeatedly winked. It turns out that it was flashing on and off over and over again because of the rings, and it wasn't just the planet itself passing in front of it. Pretty cool. Who would have known that Uranus was so big and exciting? Keep it mature, folks. Number 11. Super Active Moon Not ours, of course, but Jupiter's. Jupiter's moon Io has some pretty intense volcanic activity that goes on. Now you're going to learn a little bit about it. Io is considered the most active moon in the solar system and ejects plumes of smoke up to 250 miles into the atmosphere from the hundreds of volcanoes that adorn the surface. It is exposed to some really crazy gravity with it being located right in Jupiter's gravitational well. And that's what causes the intense and gigantic eruptions. Pretty neat, huh? 250 miles. Mount St. Helens plume only pierced 13.6 to 14.2 miles into the stratosphere. Think about that. Number 10. Speaking of volcanoes, did you know that Mars has the most incredibly enormous volcano ever discovered in the entire solar system sitting on its surface? Yeah, that's right. Olympus Mons is its name, and this thing is a real beast. The surface area that it covers is comparable to the state of Arizona, and it comes in at 374 miles across. It's far taller than the tallest mountains on Earth, Everest, duh, and actually comes in at three times our famous giant, at 16 miles tall. How in the world? Well, I guess it's not in the world, it's on a different one. The reason for the volcanoes being able to grow to such massive sizes is because of the weaker gravity on the planet than on Earth. There's less weighing the lava boasting formations down. The presence of volcanoes on the red planet have led to a big old debate as to how the giants got there in the first place, and some speculate that Mars may have a global tectonic plate system, much like Earth, which leads the question, is it active? We don't know now, but we may know soon. I mean, with things going how they're going for space exploration these days, it's only a matter of time before we actually try and populate. Number 9. Winds of Venus How many of you know about the extreme conditions of Venus? The planet's surface is an incredibly high pressure, extremely high temperature environment, and it would probably remind visitors of something they'd picture as hell. The Soviet Union attempted to land 10 heavily shielded crafts on the surface back in the 1970s, and it didn't work out so well as the spacecraft only lasted mere minutes in the harsh environment. Now onto the winds. Recently, scientists discovered that the planet's upper winds flow an incredible 50 times faster than Venus itself rotates, and that they seem to get quicker and stronger over time. They can reach over 400 miles per hour, and that is utterly ridiculous seeing as max wind speeds we've seen on Earth, wind not related to tornadoes, was 253 miles per hour during 1996 during tropical cyclone Olivia on Barrow Island, Australia. Venus would really be a scary place to visit. Sounds more like a death sentence. Hey, let's send Larry Nassar here, huh? Yeah, yeah? Number 8. Life. The possibilities of us finding life somewhere anywhere besides Earth and our solar system are possibly endless, and we're starting to understand that reality more and more all the time. We've begun looking for more extreme microbes like tardigrades rather than the human-esque little green and gray aliens that we once pictured in the past, although those could still be out there, don't get me wrong. But the microbes are a very real possibility in our own solar system. These microbes could be found in some of the more extreme places on other planets. And as we learn more and more about the ones on Earth, it's looking more and more likely. Did you know that scientists now take extreme precaution when sending spacecraft to Mars these days, sterilizing and making sure they're germ-free before shipping them off to the red planet just in case there's microbial life present there? It's possible that life could exist everywhere throughout the solar system. It just may not be the type of life we once thought. Number 7. Mercury is getting smaller. 
This might sound a little crazy, but did you know that Mercury is still contracting nearly 4.5 billion years after the solar system was formed? Scientists figured this out when our first messenger spacecraft did a high resolution, high definition mapping of the entirety of the planet. According to data from the craft, there are significant cliff-like landforms, as you can see on the picture, on the surface called fault scarps. And these scarps are relatively small, which leads scientists to believe that they weren't formed all that long ago. And that means that the planet is still tectonically active and is still settling and continues to contract all these billions of years later. Incredible, ain't it? Number 6. Mountains of Pluto Pluto was reasonably recently tectonically active as well, and that was figured out in 2015. Back in that great year, NASA's New Horizons craft flew by and sent pictures that not only blew scientists' mind, but the mind of us normies too, as they showed towering mountains on the planet's surface. We once thought that the itty bitty X planet on the edge of our solar system was too small and far away from the sun to feature any such land masses, but we were wrong. There are 11,000 foot high icy mountains on the surface, and it's pretty unbelievable that they're there. I mean, considering geological activity is known to require energy, and the sun is too far from the planet to generate enough heat for such activity. So the energy source that allowed for these mountains to form is a mystery. Ooh, spooky stuff, Pluto. What are you doing back there? Number 5. Van Allen Belts So how many of you have heard of the Earth's radiation belts called the Van Allen Belts? Good. Me neither. Now in 2012, the Van Allen probes were launched, which got a pretty darn good look at them. And there have been some surprises had along the way. They are now known to react to solar activity, expanding and contracting with even minor fluctuations. At times, the belts are easily distinguished from one another, but at others, they seem to swell up into one giant belt. Oh, and we once thought that there were only two, but in 2013, a third was spotted. These big old radiation belts help clue the scientists into and make predictions about solar systems and the weather in space. Crazy stuff. Number 4. Moon got its butt kicked. Is extremely beat up. The crazy thing about it is that Miranda only has a diameter of 293 miles, which means that it's tiny and makes tectonic activity seem unlikely. However, its features seem the result of such activity as it has a lot of craters, a patchwork of broken terrain, massive canyons, sharp ridges, and Miranda is home to the most massive known cliff in the entire solar system, called Verona Rupus. How high is said cliff? 3.1 miles high. It's believed that maybe tidal heating could have been a factor in Miranda's geological past. Whatever happened, the moon is a little, actually really battered. And as of now, we only have theories as to how it got that way. Let's get another mission out there, eh? Number three. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> what would you think would be hotter, the surface of the sun or the atmosphere surrounding it? Well, if you guessed the atmosphere, you are entirely correct. The photosphere of the sun, or the visible surface, had a temperature right around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You may be thinking, how can it get any hotter than that? Well, I'll just tell you it can, but I don't know the answer to the how. The upper atmosphere surrounding the giant life-enabling ball of fire has temperatures that reach into the millions. You heard me right, the millions. Another crazy thing about this is that we don't really know exactly what causes this temperature differential. We just know that it's the way it is. However, there are a few theories at the moment and scientists are working hard to figure it out, so we may know shortly. I think that nothing could withstand a million plus degrees, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a YouTube narrator. Number 2. Spots of Jupiter and Neptune Want to know something crazy? Well, you know the big red spot on Jupiter? The thing that is like its most defining characteristic to most of us looking at the planet? The spot that is, in itself, much larger than the planet's moons? Well, it's disappearing. Fading away, one might say, and that's because the red spot is just one big storm. A storm that's been going on for hundreds upon hundreds of years. We first observed it in 1830, and it is now, finally, beginning to visibly disappear. And it's been changing shape for years, but now it's actually moving towards snuffing out completely. Isn't that nuts? Same goes for Neptune. A huge storm was first spotted on Neptune's surface back in 2015, but it shrank much quicker than Jupiter's and eventually disappeared entirely in 2017. Can you imagine if you had giant storms that lasted for years or hundreds of them on Earth? Holy smokes. Number 1. Planet 9 did you know that based on simulations and mathematical calculations, two astronomers from the California Institute of Technology announced, in 2015, 
that there may be a massive beast of a planet sitting in our solar system somewhere out past Neptune? That's right. The thought is that if it does exist, it could help to explain the movements of the objects in the Kuiper Belt. There's now a push to try and find this Planet 9, which is, at the moment, still just theoretical. But scientists are confident that if it is out there, we may be able to find it in the next few decades. Stop being such a lurker, planet. Just show yourself already. We need to make up for Pluto getting jacked from us. I grew up with nine planets, how about you? That's all from me. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>